Hi everyone, welcome back to my shop. In this video, I'm going to do a comparison between an edge trimmer and a block plane. And I'll give you my thoughts on this particular one I bought here. It's from Hong Dewey. I bought it on Banggood. This is called the HD Edge or CR Multi Trim. I'll give you my thoughts and let you decide which one might be right for you. First off, we have the Hong Dewey HD Edge or Multi Trim. I bought this based on a review from another YouTuber and I couldn't help myself. It's really a fine looking tool and I thought I'd use it. The quality of this tool is excellent. The plating is good. I'm not sure if this is powder coating or anodizing. Well, it's not magnetic, so it must be aluminum and most likely anodizing but, and screen printing for the uh, print, but very nicely done. Now I'm assuming they call it the multi-trim because there's two replaceable carbide bits on here. One is an eighth inch round over and you can advance and retract either blade and the other one is a 45 degree chamfer. There's a lock here for locking the adjustment knob into position but I've never actually used that. I just hold my finger on the adjustment knob while I'm using it. And to be completely transparent, I didn't even know this tool existed before I saw the review from the other YouTuber. Since then, I've seen plenty more on Amazon, and of course, Woodpeckers also has one, but it's a bit more expensive. Uh, but this is the actual only one I've ever held in my hot little hands. Next up, we have a Stanley Low Angle Block Plane. This is a 60. It's identical to the 60 and a half, except the lever cap on the 60 and a half is nickel plated. It's got an adjustable throat. It's a low angle plane, bevel up, and there's a whole discussion out there whether it really makes a difference with the bevel being up and the bedding angle between that and the regular plane. I'm not going to get into that. Uh, I just like this one because it's quite small, it's handy to keep around, and it fits my hand very well. Now, back in 1941, according to my catalog, this particular one would cost you $2.50, whereas the nickel-plated one would cost you $2.95. Now you can get them for about $50 on eBay, but they produced millions of these, and you can find them quite often, uh, very cheap at garage sales, estate sales, flea markets. There are a lot of them around. I've got a piece of red oak ready to go, so let's give these both a try on a piece of wood. Let's try the roundover first. Okay. With each pass of the edge trimmer, you lower the blade slightly to get the detail you want. And now I'm going to use the block plane to try and get the same results. Looking at the roundover from the edge trimmer and the block plane, I really can't tell the difference. And if you were to pass sandpaper over it a few times, you really wouldn't know any difference. With both the plane and the edge trimmer, you still need to be aware of grain direction. Otherwise, you'll be peeling wood rather than making shavings. And now the block plane. Now on the bevel, again, not much of a difference as far as the way they look. I think if you had a, a piece of sandpaper on a block uh, and a few passes, you would be able to tell. I found it easier with the block plane though. Uh, it took a bit more force to get that 45 degree bevel because I think it's more surface area. The block plane fits my hand better and you can use a bit more force. Whereas on the edge trimmer, it was a little bit more awkward. Still got the job done and it still looks fine. Uh, but again, I think the block plane just fits my hand better and is easier to use. Something else that's a little annoying about the edge trimmer is that if you wanted to do more than one edge, you'd have to do that edge before moving on to the next edge. Otherwise, you're doing a stroke here and a stroke here and a stroke here, and it just wouldn't really work well. So you'd have to finish this one, recess the blade, move on to the next one, whereas the block plane, you can, there is no adjustment. Once it's done, you just keep hitting it until you've got the bevel you like 
or the roundover you like, and then just move on to the next one. There's no recessing the blade. I've also used the edge trimmer on Formica. If I'm putting a Formica top on a work surface, and after I've flush trimmed it, uh, this works pretty good. But then again, so does the block plane and a file for that matter. Something else to keep in mind, these are good for just breaking the edges. If you're looking to get a larger round over or a larger bevel, you're probably better off with a router and a router bit. I also pulled out a piece of hickory, my old nemesis, and it's got some tricky grain to it. And the edge trimmer did fine. I think the block plane again did a little bit better because it's larger, you can maybe use a little, little bit more force with it. Not that it's a force thing, but I think being able to fit in your hand better, you have a bit more finesse. For me, it's an obvious choice. I'm gonna go with the block plane. It just has more uses. Uh, this is a two trick pony since there's uh, two edges on it. This has more uses. You can take down proud joinery, uh, use it to bring down butterflies uh, that I put in tabletops. Uh, you can use it for end grain. So yeah, more uses for this. Handier to have around, fits my hand better, and cheaper, really. So I, I like the block plane. Anywho, I hope this was informative. If you enjoyed this video, uh, hit the like button, or better yet, subscribe. Thanks for watching.